you believe, my friends, if you believe the if you believe that going to no more is heresy, you're pretty much telling Jesus a heretic. Shame on you if you say that. It's a shame. I'm gonna read to you in context. Jesus went unto the Mount of Olives. And in early in the morning he came unto the temple. And all the people came unto him, and he sat down and taught them. And the scribes and Pharisees brought unto him a woman taken in adultery. And when they had set her in the midst, they say unto him, Master, this woman was taken in adultery in the very act. Now Moses in law, in the law, commanded us such should be stoned, but that well what sayest thou? This they said, tempting him that they might have accused him, but Jesus stopped with his, down his fingers, rolled on the ground, as though he heard them not. So when they continued asking him, he lifted up himself and said unto them, He that is without sin, cast him among you, let him cast the first stone at a, a, a stone at her, I'm sorry. And again he stepped down and rolled on the ground, and they which have heard, being convicted by their own conscience, went out one by one, beginning at the eldest, even unto the last, and Jesus was left alone. And the woman standing in the midst, when Jesus had lifted up himself, he saw, and saw none of the world, but the woman had said unto her, Woman, where are those thine accusers? Have no man condemned thee? Jesus said, I mean, sorry, she said, No man, Lord. And Jesus said unto her, Neither do I condemn thee. Now go and sin no more. It's just the words of Jesus Christ. Las palabras de nuestro Señor y Salvador Jesucristo. Después de que uno se re, después de que tú te arrepientes de tus pecados y te pongas toda tu confianza en el Señor y Salvador Jesucristo, Jesús manda decirte, vete y no peques más. Esas no son mis palabras, son las palabras del Señor Jesús. Tú puedes buscar en tu Biblia Reina Valera o en BibleGateway.com. Busca Juan 8.11. Y dime tú si es invento mío. Tell me if I made John 11 up. The Bible tells me not to add or take. I'm a Christian, okay? But if I take, if I add or take out of the Word of God, God's gonna, God's gonna erase me out of the Book of Life. Si tú le quitas a la palabra de Dios, él te, quita, él te borrará del libro de la vida. La gracia de Dios te ayuda a parar de pecar. The grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to a man, teaching us to deny ungodliness and worldly lust. We should live soberly minded in this present age. So, in other words, Paul told Titus that he could help you live holy. He could help you live holy. God could help you. The Son and the Holy Spirit, they will help you live a holy life. You can do it on your own. Your own holiness is not going to save you. But the Bible says that you could be sanctified, you could be justified and washed. In 1 Corinthians chapter 6, 11, but such words some of you, that you were washed, that you were sanctified, that you were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and the Spirit of our God. Like if we read uh, 1 Corinthians 6, 9 through 11 in context, he says, no, Do you not know that no wicked person, no unrighteous person will inherit the kingdom of heaven? Don't deceive yourself, friends. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor homosexuals, nor sodomites, nor thieves, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners will inherit the kingdom of heaven, friends. And then go, the good news is verse 11, it's by such words of you, but you are washed, but you were sanctified, but you were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and by the Spirit of our God. You could be sanctified today, friends. Revelation chapter 20, verse 15 through 11. Talk about Judgment Day. And I found a great white throne and him that sat on it, from whose the face and the heaven fled away. And there was found no place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. And the books were open. And another book was open, which was the book of life. And the dead were judged according out of those out of those things which were written in the books. According to the works of the sea came of the dead, 
which were in it, and the and death and hell were delivered up the dead which were in them, and they were judged, every man according to the works. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. And whoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. La, la palabra dice que que no se haya escrito en el libro de la vida será lanzado al lago de fuego. Esa es la mala noticia, amado amigo. El que no se haya escrito en el libro de la vida le toca el fuego eterno. Hell fire for those to take the mark of the beast and for those if your name is blotted out of the book of life it's all fire for you. Te toca el lago de fuego, amado amigo. Si tú mueres